my friends, a very brilliant friend of mine, Shad, the golf test dummy, reminded me to talk to you about the difference between ball striking and golf swing. If I look at a video that's five, maybe even 10 years old, it looks exactly the same when I hit a ball today and what I did 10 years ago. But I'm a lot better in ball striking because I don't practice my golf swing. I practice how to hit a golf ball. And it is a big difference. The golf swing is a summary of everything that happens when you hit a golf ball. Everything from setup to how every muscle, every joint in your body is moving. Do you really need to control that? I have not even tried to do that. That's why I think that if you get too many details, you will just freeze up. It will become impossible to do because you will think of a thousand things. I practice ball striking. So what's the difference? I don't care actually how my club looks at the top. As long, as long as my swing path and my ball flight is okay. I'm trying to get better at hitting a golf ball, which means I'm practicing impact, I'm practicing swing path, and I practice face control and speed. I don't practice golf swing, and I do one thing at a time. If I play around the golf, sadly that don't happen too much, but, and I hit these kinds of shots, I lose the ball to my left. I know it's not my golf swing that's hitting those golf balls. It's a bad face control that's hitting that. I'm releasing too late and the ball goes out. So then I would practice releasing in time. So my face on the club is more closed at impact. So I get my drawback. I also get more speed that way, but that's a bonus. So we don't need to understand golf swing. You don't need to know every little detail before you start practicing. I would say that you, you should, yeah, if we, if we talk about those four, you spend 25% of the time just practicing accuracy in impact. How good are you hitting, not hitting it thin, hitting it fat, hitting it too much on the toe or a heel? That's 25%. 25% swing path. Just get that club going in the right direction. And 25% face control. That means, are you leaving the club open? Are you rolling it over and hitting a hook? 25%. And then 25% speed. Actually, thinking about it, that's about what I do. I always go like around a little impact, a little swing path, a little face control, a little speed, and then it starts again. It's almost like going to the gym. I, I have a four day schedule in the gym and it's now when I think about it, it's just the same. Uh, sometimes I feel I need to do a little bit more of one of them, but it's all about that. And, and we can always get better. But then we need to know what we need to practice. Most people I meet, they need impact practice. They don't need 25%, but doing 100% impact is, is just, it gets boring really fast. So, but do every practice with a purpose. I think we can get all of this if we just play around with it. Don't just try to hit the same golf shot all the time. Like I did, hit it to the left. Feel how that feels. That's a bad release. It's no power, it's nothing. And then 
feel how it feels to release. Feel how it feels to roll over. Turn over the face. I'm going to end up 30 yards to the right, probably. Even more. A low hook to the right. And then go from there to hitting it straight again. Land on the line. Ah, almost. And this is how we learn every other sport. Playing tennis. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Cut shot. Overspin. We always do these kind of things. And I don't think you need to practice your golf swing. Golf swing is... is uh, it's just how it looks, everything. I mean, if you watch Tiger, if you search for Tiger, Tiger Woods My Game, I think they call the videos he made, um, you can find his first video about his practice. And he, he's talking about his nine, he has nine stock shots, nine. It's just crazy. If you look at him hitting those stock shots, the swing looks completely different in every shot. Is he changing his swing or is he changing the way he's hitting the ball? Of course, the second one. He's changing how he's hitting the ball. That also means if you see a video of Tiger hitting one of those shots and you try to copy that, you need to know what shot that was because he looks completely different. I think you should focus more on how to hit the ball, ball striking, instead of trying to find the perfect golf swing.